नॉलेज हाफ ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड हैड इट्स ब्रेस्ट कट इट्स एंट्रेल्स रिप इट्स बावल्स डिसमेंबर्ड इट्स हाउसेज टर्न टू डस्ट इट्स नाइट स्काईज फुल ऑफ ड्रोन्स शूटिंग स्टार्स फॉर ब्लिंकिंग सायरन्स एंड मिसाइल्स हैवी मेटल्स डिसेंडिंग ओवर थ्रोइंग एवरीथिंग टर्म्ड होम familiarity love reza dotra into thin air it's women forced into holes men sodomized or enslaved babies kept to die the other half of this world was always surfing the high blues reading and grossing novels about this half that had its breast cut entrails ripped bowels dismembered houses turned to gray dust its night sky is full of drones shooting stars for blinking sirens and missiles heavy metal descending overthrowing everything termed home familiarity love reza dotra into thin air its women forced into holes men sodomized or enslaved babies kept to die when the books with these stories grew into too many the spectacle filmmakers saw movie opportunities they made one film after the other to get close under the skin to understand more of the other half of the world they came up with art installations talk shows that ran for whole years over the bestiality of power and politics after the grand finale at such festivals everyone made merry but slept at 10 so no one had dark circles under their eyes in the off season this half took to snorkeling deep sea diving and walking with the fish they had got bored of swimming in the other half of the world sleep ripped from under the eyes nightmares unfurled every second when it was quiet and the men were exhausted over the mayhem and the killings half limbed beings crawled in the dark reading scraps and pieces of stories by the candle flames near brown papered windows they read of blue oceans that swarm with dolphins of people on a perennial picnic of film festivals sculptures monuments and art installations of fiestas and pita bread siestas and chapels they read of smart cities citadels and probes sent to space to discover new planets for water aliens and new gravity that was the only way they slept either smiling or weeping some of them who couldn't sleep drew pictures on their bullet ridden walls of waves and boats and air balloons filling it with any color that they could find sometimes even their own blood both halves of this world thus moved on rolling on their hinges keeping in touch through books stories reinterpreting and reinterpreting that which was not their own only sometimes when it got too excessive too good or too gruesome to believe either half would call the other half a contemporary mythology it was heartening that these halves of the same world were at least literate and knew about each other through books and stories sharing the same time of life they were not complete strangers or completely lethargic